Hey guys, what's up? I'm Don Gunnare and this is not a review. Now the reason I'm saying that is because I suck at reviews, so I'm not going to do them. However, what I can do is share a couple of thoughts from my experiences printing stuff like this, which is the Nylon X carbon infused nylon from Matter Hackers. I got this stuff just before Christmas and at the same time I got the Ruby nozzle to test out and combining those two was something that I, that I had uh, looked forward to for a while. And also top, to top it off, I worked at the OpenRC220 FPV Mini Quad at the time. So this was the perfect project to try out the Nylon X with because initially I printed it with copolyesters and I was a little disappointed with the durability as it crashed uh, and it broke fairly easy. I mean this, these things crash can crash really hard. So and the idea with this thing is it's split in several pieces and one by one separately they're kind of soft like this but when you put them all together you get a more rigid frame and as you may know if you fly these things you want a really really rigid frame but uh, i printed it in nylon and while it does hold up really well it was a bit too soft but with the nylon x it's actually it was better than expected i didn't expect it to be this rigid i mean it's not like a carbon fiber frame sure but for a product like this i'd say it's fairly good and i've crashed it a couple of times and it hasn't broken yet obviously i have to crash it more and harder to see what it's really about but so far this is uh, really cool and uh, it also comes with a weight loss of about 25 percent which is nice uh, i've printed all of the nylon x parts on the my old uh, replicator 2x here in the background and I've printed it at 265 degrees Celsius and the build plate a little hotter than recommended. I think they recommend like 55 to 60 uh, degrees Celsius uh, for the bed and I'm at maybe 90 or something like that. And I must say the surface quality is, even if it's kind of rough, it looks great comes out really well and it's not that hard to print being a nylon and I guess the carbon fiber helps with uh, reducing warping uh, so it's a lot easier than maybe regular nylon to print I've printed it at a glass plate with a coat of wolf bite on it as well so I like this stuff and I've printed about a spool so far and I got this one to print as well so I'm gonna do that and you stick around to see what that will be about, I guess. Uh, so that's it, yeah. I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts about that. And uh, obviously, as always, I always forget a lot of things that I want to say, but you can just hit me up in the comments or tag me on social media and I will try to answer any questions there instead if I forgot them. So thanks for watching and as always like, share, subscribe and all that stuff and I hope to see you guys in another video.